Do you want to develop an entrepreneurial mindset? Have you ever had that feeling in the pit of your stomach that you were meant to do something more? Then you're an entrepreneur. You just simply haven't harnessed your entrepreneurial mindset. You just need to learn to think like one. You simply need to harness it. Now, there are many ways you can do this, as you will hear. But how do you develop an entrepreneurial mindset, you may ask? Anyone can learn how to act like an entrepreneur and build the habits and learn a few successful business hacks. Create a side hustle where you don't need to leave your current nine to five and still earn a passive income. You don't need to learn how to code. You don't need a million dollar idea. And you don't need to have an online business. But here's the thing. The biggest killer of the entrepreneurial mindset. Now it's not what you would expect it's not failure, the economy, but it's doubt. Doubt in ourselves, in our surroundings, and our abilities. Self-doubt kills many dreams before external factors can even come into play. That's why it's important to master your inner game. People are most afraid of pursuing their dreams or if they do start they first turn back at the first sight of struggle convince themselves they don't have what it takes this is why your thinking is so important to get right from the start being an entrepreneur starts with that feeling inside you that entrepreneurial spirit that's what you need to nourish and then you need to hone. You know, whether you're an employee trying to level up or you're a CEO like me, you need to master the mindset. And once you master the mindset, you'll learn how to accomplish more goals than you've ever imagined. Now, for the past 10 years, I've studied business and entrepreneurship, and we're all unique as humans, but we all think alike as entrepreneurs. Although there isn't no entrepreneurial gene, like no one's born with it, I know for a fact that successful entrepreneurs think and act in similar ways. You know, no matter how different we are as individuals, we think alike as entrepreneurs. I'll say it again. You know, some entrepreneurs want to change the world while others want a better life. And others want to better their family. And some like me want to do it all. Now, like I said, while spending the last 10 years studying business reading business books, going to seminars, and studying entrepreneurs, I notice some key characteristics in all successful entrepreneurs. Now, the first of the characteristics I've noticed in entrepreneurship is that of decisiveness. Decisiveness is to succeed as an entrepreneur. You need the ability to look at a problem or a situation, digest all the available data at that point in time, and then make a confident enough decision to move forward. Now, your ability as a decision maker will either make you or break your future success. Now, on the opposite end, in decision, now, indecision is one of the greatest causes of business failure. When you can't decide what to do, you delay taking action. In other words, you do nothing at all. 
and when you do nothing at all just think how many dreams and businesses fail to take action and failing to taking action has got them killed like many other skills an entrepreneur needs being decisive is a skill that could and should be practiced it can be strengthened every day and it can start with the tiniest of decisions and the other trait which I noticed is confidence there are many skills you will need to learn to accomplish everything you want in life but how do you act confidently when you don't know what you're doing you learn to act with confidence and it's the second characteristic of the entrepreneurial mindset and it's one of the most important qualities of an entrepreneur it's essential that you get comfortable with not knowing what you're doing and once you do that you kind of fake it to make it you know whether it's getting on stage to speak launching a new product or even writing a book we tend to have this pre notion and incorrectly assume that they've always been good at it they haven't always been good at it they weren't born that way they weren't born knowing how to speak launching a good product or writing a successful book they learned and we can learn too now the difference between appearing good or bad at something is just merely acting confident now the third characteristic is accountability the entrepreneurial mindset comes from taking responsibility for your actions and your outcomes now you need to internalize this and accept everything that happened at work you're responsible for everything that happens to your business you're responsible for whether you succeed or whether you fail it's your responsibility from this moment forward you must accept responsibility for everything in your life and hold yourself accountable sorry to tell you but nobody cares how little time you've had how little money how little external support you have to accomplish your goals your circumstances may not be your fault but they are your responsibility and all that matters is what you're doing now right now to find your success there're no more excuses accountability is required of the entrepreneurial mindset you need to stop passing the buck and trying to blame others and hold yourself accountable and even if you aren't to blame you got to take action fix the problem that's the way a entrepreneur works you got to take complete control hold yourself accountable for your outcomes both good and bad and remember entrepreneurs don't always make the right decision but they make every decision come right which brings us to the fourth trait resilience as an entrepreneur you need to learn to deal with making mistakes and failing it's inevitable part of growth you know if every misstep plummets you into self doubt you need to change the way you think and mindset mindset shift takes resilience and it's the foundation of the entrepreneurial mindset success rarely happens in a straight line rather it has some wrong turns and mistakes it's something that happens to everyone the only people that don't make any mistakes are the people who don't do anything at all resilience isn't only helpful when you're dealing with catastrophic 
events or mistakes, but it's a way to handle the small and simple decisions you've made that didn't turn out right. Resilience enables you to think and act and move iteratively, making small incremental corrections along the way. Which brings us to the fifth and final trait that ties everything together. Humility. You need to be humble. You need to walk on this earth n not with haughtiness, not with cockiness, and know that the only person you're competing with is the person that you used to be. You have to know the proper framework of a venture, that of people, opportunity, context, and deal. DM me for a free one-on-one -on -one coaching session. Happy Friday.